thank you so much for joining us this week for the Scott Week podcast. I am Kelsey Deanne. I'm the director of Scott Week. And I am Cindy McIntosh. And we are here with one of our most favorite people of all time. Yeah! Yay! (laughs) (laughs) We're so excited to have you on, Manny. You are just, you are one of those people that just, whenever I hear your name, I'm excited. I'm excited to see you when I see you. It's like, oh my God, there's Manny. (laughs) We're a fantastic person, so. Thank you. And you have an amazing newer company that we yes. want to talk about, but that's, but you have so many amazing achievements. Um, oh, well, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I don't really look at them as achievements. I just look at them right next, you know, it's just, I don't dwell on it too much. I just want to keep going and going and going. And then one day, you know, one day say, yeah, I did some good stuff, but I'm not at that point just yet. So. Well, however, you know, you do yeah. have some amazing achievements. And Thank you. We're very proud to know you. And it's, it's that, it's that you don't sort of wear those on your sleeve, that you are such a down <laughs> amazing person. Very Thank you. Very far, so. Well, you're both not bad yourselves, so there we go. <laughs> well, and you're a lot of fun, so I'm very excited to uh, be back to yeah. have a little party. Yes. <laughs> so tell us about Rifts. It's R-Y-F-F. R-Y-F-F, yes, we are, we're now Rift.com. We just got funded um, at the end of last year. And as we start to break in the lovely new world of not being a, a startup anymore, COVID hit us. But I can tell you what we do. It's actually um, uh, pretty relevant right now. So let's say you've got TV shows that are in syndication or that are, um, you know, that uh, syndication means old television, et cetera, or reruns. Uh, and you've got new content and you have to basically give it away for free, especially now because with COVID, all the streaming platforms are free of charge. So what we do, we scan all those TV shows and content and we digitally insert some products into them. So it's basically digital brand integration. And so let's say you're watching an episode of Friends uh, and you see Monica in her apartment and then right next to her or near her, you'll see a can of Coke. And the Coke can will blend into the scene, it will reflect the, it will reflect the light and, um, and, uh, and it'll have the right shadowing. So it looks like it was in there all along. And the good thing about it is that we can change the labels of the Coke can and we can change the actual product. So let's say you're watching Friends at nine o'clock at night, you'll see a bottle of wine there or in the morning you'll see a carton of milk there, you know. So that's basically what we do. That sounds so amazing to me. And I can think, you know, as I listen to you talk about this, I can think of so many people who could really benefit from this type of advertising and branding and yep. you know, especially what comes to mind we were talking about maybe the indie film indie film yeah you know, uh, we were um, we were at a party and this one guy said do you realize you um, first of all you've eliminated all commercials um, which unfortunately you know nowadays who watches commercials right secondly the other thing is, is that you've got all these uh, festival, uh, festivals coming up and it's expensive to get into those festivals. So if you've got a movie that's coming out and you want to, uh, a few hundred thousand dollars or, or ten thousand dollars, whatever, you basically can have a product integrated in there. If, if, you, know the, if you know the movie's going to be seen by a lot of people, the brands will be more, um, more um, inclined to put their product in there so they'll get exposure and they can also finance these small indie productions going to these festivals. That's incredible. I can yeah. see this could be a, a great solution as it gets out into the world and people understand. Yes. Well, power. especially now you've got so many streaming platforms, you don't want to pay like, you know, like $15 here, $15 there. You've got HBO Max coming out now, you know. So all these commercial free um, streaming platforms need a solution. And so I, I hope we're it. <laughs> I can also see it being applied to those live events and concerts that were. Yep. So if you, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, we were just talking about that actually this morning. We were saying, um, you know, with live events, concerts, you know, let's say we're Elton John on a piano um, and you need to monetize that. So, and now you can't go to concerts. um, So you have to watch them on on television. So the best way without a commercial break is to stick a can of Pepsi with Elton John or, I mean, nothing alcoholic because he can't, he doesn't drink, but, but yeah, you basically easily put in something that can, reflect what you're watching and you know the brands can be creative it doesn't have to be a regular can of coke or pepsi it could be a sort of bedazzled you know, can of coke on elton john's 
piano, you know. So, um, so yeah, so, so, so it's, it's limitless to what we can do. Ooh, I want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I went to a gifting suite once and they had them and I was, I was trying to get one. They, they wouldn't let me have it. But, Aww. Like, but yeah. Mm, great. Have to look, we'll look around for one of those. This is so exciting and I can yes. see how also, you know, this could fit in with our, with Scott Week's Scott Conference or Scott Con. Yeah. Our business conference was kind of set up, you know, kind of like a TED Talks, if mm. you will. Well, if you think about it, all those, you know, on American Idol, all those um, Coca-Cola um, uh, on the judge table. If you've got a panel, we could basically, and the camera's still moving around, we can easily put in, you know, let's say, I don't know, um, uh, name a brand, a Scottish brand that you, that you work with. Uh, yeah, okay, let's say we could put, we could put that on, we could, we could put a Scottish brand on those panel tables and it won't, dif it won't uh, distract you from what you're watching. It's actually sympathetically inserted. So that way it just, it blends into the scene and it's not blatantly in your face like a Wayne's World sketch, you know, where it's like, oh, look at this Pizza Hut, or look at this, yeah. you know, this, this Pepsi, or whatever, you know. <laughs> or like Iron Brew, it's bright orange. Yeah, Iron Brew, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> might stand out a little. But that, that would be fantastic, because we'll be recording these, this conference, and yeah. we'll be televising it as well, and everyone will, you know, it'll be recorded in its entirety, as well as the segments of the businesses that are oh, yeah. I mean. I mean, the, the thing is right now, we're, we're working on a way we can automate it. So in, in about six, well, eight, 18 months from now, you will be able to do it live and we could put the products as we go along. But right now we're just basically inserting, uh, we're just giving everyone a, t a feel of what we do by inserting products manually. So let's say you record the, 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 the podcast or the video conference or whatever, and then we can put the products in afterwards and we can just tailor them to whoever, whoever's watching. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> that is brilliant, and hopefully you will be part of Scott. Yes. Because people need people need to hear what you do and the many yep. benefits. And you can, yes. it would be you, and then you can superimpose, what, 150 different brands all around. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or a man behind me, yeah. <laughs> I never took you for the front man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, so Manny, tell us a little bit, if you'd like, tell us a little bit about your, your life and where you grew up. My life? Um, so, uh, long story short, I was a teenager. I went to the wrong bar with some school friends and they, because I wasn't very popular at school, ended up going to a bar, um, met the, met the uh, manager in London. It was in Pimlico. Uh, ended up making some Star Trek music videos. Uh, with basically clips of Star Trek to music, like Bohemian Rhapsody, and then branch out to other TV shows. Got, no got noticed by Paramount, ran conventions, got a bit stung by the conventions side of things, but then uh, managed um, to be a promoter and manager and a DJ at Heaven Nightclub in London. And I was there for about 10 years, and then uh, came to LA when Heaven was being sold, but I was still coming to LA during the whole time of me being a teenager, um, and, uh, and basically moved here in a week, and uh, start my life again in 2008. So there we go. That's brilliant. That's, that is brilliant. And you, so you, when you came here and then you wound up moving here within one yep. week time, had you, had you planned that before you? Well, the, I knew the club was going to be sold. And I literally thought, you know, if I need to keep carrying on my career and I, you know, I was, I was just turning 30 and I thought, you know what, I need to get out here. I, um, and I just did it in, a, in, in one week, applied for my uh, O-1 visa. Got that really quickly. In fact, I got it, in, got it over a weekend um, by some miracle. Uh, and then applied for a green card, and I got that in eight days in 2018. So, yeah. That's awesome. So it's just, I, I just, it was a decision. You know, when, when somebody told you just do it, and, you know, all these people that plan and plan and plan, I just say don't plan, just go for it, you know. I think the first time I met you, you were DJing the BAFTA. At BAFTA. Yeah, the after party for the Britannia. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at BAFTA, and I was DJing, and, and I, I think we all had a lock-in afterwards, remember? We sat with Chantal, and then Chantal had broken her toe for dancing too much. That's oh. right! And do you remember when, when the, the guy was clearing up the gin and tonics, and she had three of them, goes, no, they're mine! And like, <laughs> <laughs> she is a demon. I love Chantal, because she'll always walk around in heels at the start of the night. And oh, yeah, I have until like, the end. Sandals on, or, yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I miss her dearly. She, she, you know, the story with Chantel and I. So when I, I finally got to meet Chantel, but you know, Bernie, our uh, British consulate. Oh my gosh, I love Bernie. Yeah. I miss her. Um, so she kept on saying to Chantel, you got to meet Manny, you got to meet Manny. And so finally got to meet her with Celia Emery, who's a friend of yours. Um, and, and, uh, and the first thing I said, I, uh, Celia said, oh, can you meet um, Chantel? And I said, Chantel, what do you do? She goes, oh, I'm, I'm the CEO of BAFTA. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> It was so, so then I finally, I, I tried every trick in the book to get to the conference. I said, oh, come to the Abbey, come out to this, come to that, you know, nothing. And so I met her, um, had a meeting with her because Bernie set it up. And she goes, where'd you grow up? I said, oh, Fulham Road. And she goes, I used to live at Fulham Road. And I went, well, my dad used to have this big, massive, like, it was four stores all in one, a big hardware store. She goes, I've been going to that store for 30 years. And I remember when I was a kid working behind a counter. <laughs> Yeah. And her sister was my headmistress. At, at, oh, really? Topo? We didn't know any of that until, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Really? So she knew me since I was like seven years old. Yeah. Wow. Such a small world. It is a small yeah. world. They say that in this very true. Especially in this yeah. World. Obviously, back in those days, I wasn't like wearing like the Elton John Alleganza that I'm wearing these days. So she didn't recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Amazing. Wow, and so what, a, so what have you found is the biggest challenge or barrier for you coming from London to LA? Well, I find it as, as, um, as most of the people you hang out with, that it's easier for a Brit to move here than it is for America to move to England. Because first of all, everyone likes the British, you know, they love the accent, yeah. and get away with murder, right? <laughs> uh, especially if you're like, if you're great gay and brown like I am, then it's, it's a, a triple threat. So everyone's like, going, oh my God, wow. It's like, oh, I thought he was Mexican, you know. Um, <laughs> it's, oh my gosh. and so, yeah, so, um, I always say I sound white on the phone. Um, but, <laughs> but, um, I, I find that the challenges are that, that, you know, you try and make American friends. I mean, I'm glad you guys are like Anglophiles and, and into, Scott, in, in, into the whole UK culture, but I find that when you're making friends here, it's easier to make friends with Brits over here than it is with Americans, unless they understand the British culture. Because, you know, how we, how we sort of hang out as friends in England, we kind of, we kind of like, you know, poke each other and, and, and sort of like, we're not, you know, it, it, we're, we're being kind, but we're, but we're being like insulting at the same time. And that's a term of endearment. Whereas in, in the States, you do that, they go, oh my God, he's such a bitch. I'm like, well, no, I'm actually nice to you. If I was being polite to you, then you know I'm being a bitch. <laughs> This is very true, and I yeah. understand that completely. And you know, but I think you know, whatever, and I'm in Great Britain every year, at least once. And I yeah. do, you know, people are just so much more. And I don't want to say that Americans aren't real, but but people in Great Britain, Britons are very much more real, and yeah, fun, and you're more likely to go walk into a pub over yeah. here, and everybody's going to talk to you if you want to. Yeah, if you want to interact, they they will. And over here's and then we kind of walk around as Americans and we're like, oh, don't talk to me, I won't talk and, to and, you. And especially, I mean, the thing is, uh, uh, the, the, the Brit British pubs here, I've had that happen. Like, people just talk to you. Um, it's like being, you know, like, like gay bars. You go to a gay bar and it's like, you know, you can meet people very quickly. Whereas I find, if I go to a traditional place, it, it takes a while for people to warm up to you. I mean, the bartender will talk to you because he wants a tip, but that's about it, you know. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah, very, very yeah. true. Very true, but we have so many British friends who've come over, and there's so many stories I always like to hear them um, because they yeah. come over and they think, you know, they'll have an idea, or they'll just come on vacation, or they'll, or they'll come and they'll just be here for a project, and then all of a sudden, you know, they'll they'll be like, oh my God, here I am, 20 or 30 years later, yeah. have never left, or or you know, just decided to move to Los Angeles and live there. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, you, I mean, you both have been to LA when you live in LA and you, you, you see what, what's, you know, it, it's, it's paradise. It really is. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, and then the thing is, it's like the honeymoon, um, um, you know, blows over very quickly because you kind of come here and then once, once people realize that you're here permanently, the novelty wears off. They go, oh, he's here. He's not visiting. So, when he, so my trick was that when I first came here, I was saying to everyone, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll go back and forth all the time. So... You know, that way you, you can sort of like go to parties and meet people as opposed to like, oh, that's just Manny, you know, so, <laughs> so yeah. You will never be just Manny. <laughs> <laughs> it will never be the case. Not. <laughs> <laughs> you 
will never ever be just Manny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm. any any projects? Like, how are you? How are you coping with? Co well, well, it's it's funny. I, I've so I always say to myself, you know, every year is getting it more intense, more intense, more intense. And recently, now it's like I felt like we've all been on pause. I mean, every year I try and get set, set these targets. Like this year, I went to the Golden Globes, and I got to meet everybody there. I got to sit right by the entrance, and everyone walked past me. Then went to the Oscars, and got to meet, got to sit second row there by a fluke. Got to meet, I'm going like, oh, what else is next? And then this happens, and you're going, right, so there's nothing else for me to do. It's kind of like, I'm in purgatory right now. It's like, it's like okay, what's next? You know, and it's, we're, we're in month three now of this lockdown. You know, I started in, um, I started the first week of March. And so now we're in the second, we're the first, well, the first week of May, and we're, we're now this, it's been eight, over eight weeks. So, but it's great though, I know I'm doing home improvements, I'm getting, uh, as you can see behind me, um, I can see, <laughs> <laughs> I can see, um, you know, I, I, could, I could see my friends like online and actually have a conversation. Whereas if, you know, if you go out to an event, you get to see someone for about 30 seconds and you go, yep, 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 bye, you know, next. Mm -hmm. um, which is kind of in a good way you get to catch up, but now I'm, I'm kind of done with the catching up. I want to go to an open bar now and a party and, yeah. and just be silly and just let, let my, you know, let my guard down and, and just bond with people, you know, and, and, you know, I don't know how long that's going to take because now in California, we're going to be opening up businesses, <clears throat> um, pardon me, um, at, um, uh, on Friday. So if that happens, I mean, I think it's just one in, one out in every store you go to, like a small, like a small retail store. So I don't know how long it's going to take. It might be at the end of the year till, till we all start to, you know, get back to normal again. Yeah, that's so hard. We were talking about, we were talking a week or two ago, and we were talking about how, you know, you're very much like myself in that, you know, yeah. we are always out and about. We are always somewhere. We're always at a party. We're always out, you know, mixing and mingling with people. And we yeah. really enjoy that. I don't know about you, but that really just... That's just part of you and what I Well, yeah, and, and, the, and the events that we, we've all gone to, I mean, I, I mean, I've actually met, you know, you several times, or both of you several times, all these events, and they're just fun. They're not stuffy. I mean, it could be BAFTA, or it could be a British consulate event, or, or uh, you know, whatever that you play the bagpipes, and it's just, it's fun. You know, they're, they're actually really good fun. I love those events. Better than going out to, a, you know, a bar in, in West Hollywood, because they're just, eh, whereas I know when I'm going to see you two, I have a good time. And actually, <laughs> Last time I saw the series together, I think I mentioned this the other day, but but it was the day we got funded for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my good luck charms, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, then we must make sure we get together more often. Yes. <laughs> yes. And when Scott Week happens, please let me know. I'd love to be involved, so. Okay. We will, well, right now we are, we actually, we just voted to postpone into next year, into 2021, which is right. actually going to be a good thing because, you know, we were, Initially, when this happened and this kind of hit us, all of a sudden, we literally had, I think, two days to decide what we needed to do. We were, we, I think we were three weeks out from Scott Week. Yeah. This year, everything was ready to go. It, it takes a massive amount of, you know, getting everything ready and mm. online and getting people and everything organized. And so we, we had to make this decision, even though it's like we were right there and we really didn't want to, but we knew it was the right thing to do and we had to in the end and then we just thought okay well we don't want to cancel it we want to go ahead we don't want to lose all the excitement and momentum so we we pushed it into into september early right. october but you know that wasn't that was we didn't know what this whole pandemic pandemic was going to yeah be, you know i and mean and and you know when you were reaching out to me about getting involved and and that was why we didn't we, we were hesitating we said oh no this is we were, we were sort of watching this this, this uh, massive car crash, like in slow motion and going, how, what are we going to do? What's going to happen? And it was just like, uh, we want to get involved, but I don't know how if we can now. And then all of a sudden this hit us. Now we're all back at home. So yeah, but, uh, but no, I'm so excited that the two of you are doing Scott Week. It, it, I'm so like more excited than I ever was in the past. So. Oh, okay. oh good, thank you. It's yeah. It's shaping up to be something really, truly spectacular. And I well, know I, know, I know it's going to be in good hands. So, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So now we're looking, we're looking April 16th through the 24th, right in there. And so we'll fit, we'll fit in. Right 2021. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll fit in right after 
um, Tartan Week NYC, and then right before Brit Week here. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, cool. Well, well you, you can count on me to get involved. So, yeah. Thank I'll be you there. so much. We're so Thank excited. You. And we're so excited for you with this new yeah. venture. This new yes. Venture, I should say. I'm always excited to see and, and hear about what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And yep. um, you're always very innovative, and you're just your go getter. And you have <laughs> good positive Thank you. energy. So, we appreciate Ooh. We appreciate well, that so much. Thank, well, I appreciate being here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Manny. All right, thank you. Bye, you. ladies. Bye. 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 Bye.